Hey guys, welcome to my video. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video where I declutter my my closet um, or my wardrobe. But it's not really a wardrobe, it's two chests of drawers. So not quite as cute, not quite as aesthetic. So yeah, I have a lot of clothes, as many of you probably can tell from other videos. I have a lot of clothes and I really need to make some space because these drawers, you can't see, but they're getting pretty full. I can hardly get in them. So yeah, I wanna get rid of some stuff. I wanna make some money, I wanna put them on Vinted and I wanna make some room for some new pieces. So I'm gonna do that and then I will show you what I'm getting rid of, I'll show you what I'm putting on Vinted and you can shop my wardrobe if you're interested and I'm probably gonna put that pretty cheap because I want them gone to be honest so yeah without further ado let's get on with the video so I apologize this is the best shot I could get but um I'm just gonna pick things out and chat to you and show you what I picked out and yeah so just for context I don't know if anyone cares this is my underwear drawer so I'm not going near that this is tops, and then down here there's trousers and jumpers. And then these ones, this chest of drawers is always like my fancier version of everything. So this, these are my fancier tops, again, underwear. These are my fancier tops. Um, these, are my, these are my like dresses, skirts, and then pajamas. Obviously pajamas aren't fancy, but you know what I mean. So I have two top drawers. These are like everyday tops. These are like going out for dinner, going out, going out tops. So. No, I got out of that all the way. I'm just gonna go for it, honey. So first of all, I have this top, which I'm pretty sure is literally from Asda. It's like a high neck. I feel like I like this. I bought it this winter, and I wore one high neck. I'm just gonna have to like lean. I bought one high neck once, and I was like, oh my god, it looks so cute. Um, and since then, then I went and bought them in every color. But like this is cream, so I'm not really feeling it. So that'll be going in my Depop. This top as well, um, a friend got it for me, so for all that friend, I'm really sorry, I appreciate it, I liked it at the time for a very long time, but it's a bit too cropped for me, I don't really like a really cropped moment, and I'm a bit insecure, so I haven't worn it in a while, so that one will be going on my Vinted, not Depop, I'm, I'm going to keep saying Depop, but it's Vinted. I bought this top from a charity shop a while ago, and I was like, oh I'll dye it, like, basically, I'll show you my vision, I have this top, which is the cutest top I've ever seen in my life. And it's like see-through lace, and it's the cutest thing ever. So I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get this top and I'm gonna dye it brown, I have a brown version of that. But look at that color. I feel like this lighting is making it look so much better than it is. It's literally like green. It's like pink and then this bit is like, oh, it's foul. Look at it. And also it's a size, 18 so I, don't, I wouldn't have even been able to make it into that top anyway because it's way too big for me so I don't know I thought about dyeing it bright pink because I do have a bright pink dye which is like a hot pink dark pink but I don't know why I bought it this is the thing with me in chai shops I just get a bit excited I just buy it I'm like oh that has the ever so slightest bit of potential I'm gonna buy it idiot anyway that will be going to a chai shop because I don't think anyone's gonna buy it from my vintage but if you're watching this video and you want it Pull down below and I'll put it on your window. On my window. Moving on. <laughs> Baby T, this one's inside out. This is the classic Paramount ones that everyone had in like year seven. I thought it'd be cute under dresses. I have a white slip and I thought it'd be cute to wear underneath, but it's absolutely not. It looks horrible. So that'll be going to try shop. This one I'm undecided on because I actually love this top and it's so comfy but I'm not really a black and red queenie, do you know what I mean? But it's so comfy and I feel like doing Dennis the Menace in it and I wore it the first time I met my boyfriend so I don't know, what do we think guys? Should I keep- actually you know what? Oh it's so cute but like I just feel like every time I wear it I look like an e-girl. Nothing wrong with e-girls, I'm just not one of them. How should I style this? Oh, it's just so cute and comfy though. It's so comfy. I'm putting that back in the drawer. I, I, I have no, I have no self, self. I have no, 
Who knows? I'm glad about it though. That's what we know. So I'm doing well. Okay. This top I got quite quite recently. I got it ages ago. I got it literally a year ago in lockdown. And I was just like, I don't have any long sleeve tops, which I don't have any long sleeve tops. And I feel like long sleeve tops make them like skinny. But I bought this. I thought it was cute. It was cute for five minutes, but I wore it once. I didn't know it was see through. I tried it on, and then some people came around my house to pick up something, um, and like my mum didn't tell me about, and I didn't know it was see through. And I went outside and I like went and got it for them. They're like family friends, and I didn't know they were coming. And I went back inside and I saw, I literally could see my boobs through the top. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. But that'll be going on my... Bent head. I think that's all I could do normal tops wise. That's quite good. That was like a lot of tops. So I'm going to trousers. I don't know if you'll be able to see me this whole time, but it's fine. So these, I don't know. These are Wallace suit trousers or you know just like smart work trousers i guess brown ones but i have a few pairs of brown trousers now and i feel like these are like a cool tone brown and my others every other brown i wear or everything i style brown with is warm tone but i just i haven't worn these yet because i like just i don't know if i'm that into them so i think i'm gonna like give myself a time frame i'm gonna say like if i haven't worn them i my birthday then i have to get rid of them is that too long i'd usually give myself like two weeks because we're in lockdown i'm not going anywhere so i'm gonna give myself until the third of may and if i haven't worn them i'll get rid of them i'm gonna write this all in my notebook and make sure i do it next i've got these which are actually one of my favorite jeans of all time for a long time they're so crusty and dusty now they're these cheap monday i love that tag they're these cheap Monday jeans, and honestly, if you want a really comfy pair of jeans, get cheap Monday jeans, they're unreal. So, these are my favourites for like such a long time in college. For some reason, I'm pretty sure I ripped them. For some reason, I ripped them, kind of rude, and I did that. They're just such a nice pair of jeans, but they just unzip. Like, I literally, I just breathe and they unzip. So, I think I might send them to a charity shop. I'm not going to sell them because no one wants to buy jeans that are constantly going to unzip. But they're so cute, plus no one likes no one likes ripped jeans anymore. But they were such a nice pair of jeans. They were so unbelievably comfy. Honestly, if you want like light, comfy, stretchy denim, Cheap Monday is the one. These I'm gonna try to strip, but I honestly don't know if I can even do that. This, oh my god, they're so ugly. These I bought in the in the phase of lockdown, first lockdown that was like tie-dye phase. I basically bought loads of stuff from Boohoo. First of all, kind of rude that I did that we don't we don't like we don't like sporting fast fashion and, but I just bought loads of stuff from boohoo and I tie-dyed it all including this black drawers I bought a black jumper and black joggers and I wanted to make a tie-dye set look at them it didn't work look, now they're just like little shat on them they just look horrible so oh that's foul I feel like on camera it looks better than it does but this is like you can't really see it it just looks ugly it's like Oh, it's just bad to be honest. So they're gonna go to chair shop, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they just get rid of them because they're foul. Like, who's gonna buy them? These trousers, I'm also gonna give myself a time. I'm gonna say if I haven't worn them by my birthday, or we'll by like a week after my birthday, because realistically, I'm probably be doing more stuff around my birthday than I am any other time. So if I wear them, I'll wear them then. But I'm gonna give myself that time. I've literally had these for about a year and a half. No, actually, that's such a lie. Probably for about three years. And mum bought them in a 14, so I was like, well, they're never, because she bought them, she was like, well, we can share them. And I was like, they're never going to fit me. And now they fit me, which is really rude, to be honest. Um, but no, it's not, it's fine. Whatever, it's fine. They run small. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. So they actually fit me, so I think I'm going to, they've still got the tags on, because neither of us have worn them. I forgot I had them until, like, six months ago. Um, and I got them out, and they're, like, brown, and they're cute, but... I haven't been anywhere so it's kind of fair play I haven't worn them but like I said I'm giving myself until let's say the 10th of May it might seem like a long time but we're in lockdown ladies we're in lockdown these I'm definitely getting rid of they've served me well I did very much enjoy them they're these they're really cool to be fair I wore them all around, like during college so much they're just great comfy trousers they're just these satin cargoes what do you call 
cotton cargoes, they have big cargo pockets and they've got like a ruche all up the side can you see that? and you can like tighten it and not tighten it and I literally wore them all, like I said, the whole two years I was at college and they're really cute to be fair that's them not ruched and then you can ruche them but they are really cute if you like these, buy them, I'll probably put them up for like £10 um, they're a size large but Okay, I'm kind of ashamed I did buy them from Aliexpress but I bought them in before I started college so I was not educated I did not know the, the damage but yeah they're a size large Aliexpress large so pretty small like I'd say it's fit a 10 they fit me as a 12 but like they're not they're really comfy as a 10 and then they're like fine as a 12 so Oh, keep that in mind but these are so cute I would honestly buy them if you like them buy them next these actually I'm already selling them up on my depot um, and to be fair some of my recipes up the other day so they are interested in them so they might be gone by the time this is up but these Moschino jeans fun fact I got scammed with these so as you can see on the bottom I don't know if you can see but on the bottom they have this print and it's like shiny and it says all love I think yeah it says all love I don't know if you can see them like shiny and it basically the photos she showed me it said all love all love all love all over the trousers and they were like printed monogrammy vibes and they were so nice and then they showed up and they look like this just black trousers and I paid 75 pounds for them <sighs> that's embarrassing but they were just like literally this is the only bit that was shiny and then um, there was a little bit more here, but it's worn off since I've worn them. But I did wear them all the time at college because they're just like a black trousers. They're not jeans, they're trousers, but they were comfy and they weren't with everything. So I wore them all the time during college. They're a size 28. Um, I'm selling these on my for literally like £25 because I put them up for more. No one wanted them. I put in the thing, like, disclaimer, they have no print on them whatsoever. But I think I'll probably sell them for about 20 on Vinted or on Depop, so check them out. I'm not putting anything new on Depop because I do sell pixie rings on there and I don't want it to look unprofessional me like uploading pixie and uploading clothes. So any clothes that are on there are staying on there, but I'm not adding anything new. So still check it out, definitely still worth checking it out. So they will be going on Vinted and Depop. Then onto these, these are white jeans, which I got, I wanna say a year ago, but I just forget we've been in lockdown. I don't forget, but we've been in lockdown, so probably a year and a half ago. There's just these white, they're so stiff. Probably just, they've been in the wash, but they're these white jeans. They look huge. White mum jeans, I think. They're mum jeans. I like them. I just wish they weren't mom jeans. I just wish they were wide leg, but they still are cute. So I've been thinking about putting, like doing the Paloma wool. I'll put a photo in here. The Paloma wool, um, I said, Sure, it's blown well. They did like this printed trouser with like photos on it. And I saw Lainey Ozark did a video which I will link where she like did it herself. So I'm tempted to do that, but to be honest, I don't think they fit me anymore. Sad truth is, I don't think I am a waist 30 anymore. These used to fit me as a waist 30. I'll try these on, but if not, they'll be going on Depot. And to be fair, maybe I'll dye them or do something fun with them and then put them on Depop if you guys would be interested in doing that I can always just dye them the video and then put them on Depop Vinted! Then onto these, I'm a little bit concerned because my trouser drawers is literally half empty but these jeans, oh my god I'm so in love with them but I tried them the other day and they don't fit me like I can squeeze them on but it's actually painful which is really upsetting because I was, I'm obsessed with these jeans bought them on like Black Friday or something um, from Topshop rest in peace and uh, I'm sure you've seen them before those like shiny trousers they look like the 80s ones um, and they're so dreamy like they're literally my dream trouser but they don't fit me and that's really upsetting and I was very tempted I don't buy from fast fashion often at all but I'm also not one of those people who's like if you buy from fast fashion you're a scumbag like this I think every now and again like you know I allow myself to every now and again buy myself something if I really want it and I can't stop thinking about it I'll buy it for myself but I mostly buy secondhand slow fashion but with those trousers I've seen them they're on uh, ASOS now because ASOS bought Topshop and I'm very tempted to buy them again they're £45 and I want to buy them again and sell those but realistically I'm not going to get £45 for those and I don't have £45 because I don't have a job so maybe I'll ask them for my birthday I don't know but they're so nice they're so me 
and I'm really upset about them, but they'll be going on Depop. And like I said earlier, when I really love clothes, I don't want to set off cheap, so I'll probably be like 25, 30 pound because I'm just too obsessed with them. And I feel like they're quite in high demand because they've been sold out for like months. Anyway, that's those. And I think that's trousers now because if I get rid of any more trousers, I won't have anything to put on my legs. I'm not going to bother with jumpers just because I'm not. I don't know. Now onto fancy tops, which are here. Again, you can't see, I really couldn't find a way to let you see, but there's a few things. Again, this being the first of them. Another piece I have extreme sentimental value to me for mainly the reason it was a time where I was just like living my best life. Like, and this was my top and I just loved it. It's from Eld Outfitters, it's like a mesh. You can see how many times I've like washed it. It's gone so like weird. But it's a red mesh, like fishnet, sorry, not mesh, top. And I actually loved it. I'd like layer it under things. I thought I was so like hot and edgy when I was like 16 wearing this. But it's kind of cute. I don't think it fits me anymore, but it's so fun. Like it just reminds me of like the good time, the good old days, you know? Every now and again, I'd even wear it with that leather skirt. And I honestly thought I was a dominatrix. So to be fair, I'm probably gonna keep that. I don't really know why. I pretend I was going to get rid of it because we all know I don't have the willpower. This one I showed in my haul. Um, it's this crochet brown cardigan. So this crochet cardigan, um, it's so cute. It's just one of those pieces I like. I don't know how to style. I've never worked out how to style it. And I don't think I really tried that hard, but I've also never picked it out. So I don't know. I'm going to try it on now, see what I think. It's cute. I just don't know how to wear it. Like... This is obviously the wrong brown, but like you could wear it like a bralette maybe. I don't know, it's cute, but just like I haven't worn it yet. I don't know. What do you think? Should I keep it? Should I bin it? Not bin it. <laughs> Should I sell it? Again, this will probably go up for literally five pounds because I'm pretty sure I got it at a car boot sale many moons ago. Next I have this, which is kind of iconic. This I wore on New Year literally three and a half years ago. It's one of these tops. It's so cute and fun, but it broke about six times while I was wearing it in one night. Um, so that's fun, but it's so fun. So fun, but then again, everyone's seen it before. So I think, yeah, look, here's me literally tying some like ribbon to it and it's like ripped in so many places. So to be fair, I don't think I'll send that to the, to the, I don't think I'll put it on Vinter because it's just going to break. So I'm going to put that on the Trash Shop. Look how cool it is. Anyway, I love these tops. I think they're really cool. But then again, it's quite overdone. So like, you know. This is one of those tops where, I don't know if you guys have this. I'm sure everyone does, to be fair. We have certain clothes that you keep to wear at like family events or like, I like a lot of the stuff I wear like my boyfriend's family because I don't want to, to be fair they're all lovely and so accepting of me and so nice but you know when you're and so are my family but you know when you don't want to wear anything that's too like garish or anything not that I wear really like mental clothes but my family's quite laid back and um so is my boyfriend's family I don't want to show up in like some mental outfit so I have some clothes that are like a played down version of my style or just not my style at all that I'll wear so that I can feel less self-conscious I don't know and this is one of those tops I actually bought it before I went on holiday because I was like it was like two days before I went on holiday it's like three years ago two years ago um it was like a few days before I went on holiday I didn't have anything to cover my shoulders if I got really burnt and I'm white so anyway it's this top see that just this top <laughs> um it's okay another sentimental one I feel like everyone had this top in college especially in Brighton ever had this top um it's so wrinkled but i just it's just sentimental it's because i wore it in barcelona on my first trip with my boyfriend and i paid for the whole trip and it was kind of a big deal to me but i'm never ever gonna wear it again probably doesn't fit me so see ya this top i bought because i was like oh my god rachel green vibes but it's a bit big and it is cute but i don't wear it enough um although now i think about it i just thought of a really cute outfit idea no get rid of it kate Anyway, it's this like top, let me, I'm going to try it on just so you can see, because you can't see otherwise. It's this like cardigan, um, I guess you could wear it with just a bra, that would be kind of cute. But you tie it at the front, like this, and it kind of gives me witchy vibes, do you know what I mean? Witchy vibes, but you tie it 
tie it there. To be fair, it could be so cute with just a bra. And it has all this frill. I'm gonna pull it up so you can see. You see how it like frills out like that? And it's, to be fair, it is cute, to be fair. Oh, this is the thing. Imagine that with like just a bra. It would be so cute. Oh, I don't know. I just know I've I worn it a few times and I was like, I didn't feel like, <gasps> I love my outfit when I wore it, so. We'll see with that one. You can check my vintage and if it's there, I got rid of it. If it's not, I kept it. Right, these last two are both from IMG and I bought, I bought, there was a big IMG sale probably like two years ago. Um, I didn't buy them at the same time, but anyway, I bought loads of stuff. And this top was an extra large, I believe, but IMG are small sizing. So I was like, oh, it'll be fine. Like it won't be that big. I'm usually like a large anyway, and it's this top of film here. And it's like, you tie it, I'm sure you've seen it before if you're an IMG fan. It's like that, and you tie it at the back, and it has these really cute, this really cute like buckle, that, or something, I don't know. Um, but it doesn't fit me, and to be fair, let me see. But it's way too big for me. It fits around the front, it's just these straps are too long, so I know I could just take these straps in so I'm actually gonna put that in a pile for stuff I want to fix there will probably be other things I want to fix but that I'm gonna do the flat I bought it for clubbing haven't really been clubbing have we but it's fine this I'm getting rid of because ew no offense if you like it I like the pinstripe but also ew oh my god it's, it's cool it's this top this dress sorry sexy suck try vibes I just, it's just kind of revolting to be honest. I love the pinstripe, but this is just a bit like trying to make, it just looks like it would be worn in like some sexual porn scenes. That'll be going right on vintage for probably about six pound 50. To be fair, that's it for dresses. Like I have, I have loads of dresses. I, I have quite a few, but I mean, I never wear them, but I don't really want to get rid of any of them. I feel like they all serve a purpose and I'll wear them at points. So they're gonna stay. Skirts, so. First of all, the first thing that we that really like I need to talk about is this skirt I bought ages ago. It's this sick print. I, in my haul video, if you watched that, I spoke about how um, Scope donate loads, sorry, ASOS donate loads of their clothes from shoots and stuff to Scope. This was one of them. That print is just so sick. It's so cool, I really like it. So I was like, mm, I'm just gonna buy it. Um, just by the fact it's a size 18. Anyway, it's huge. She's huge, but she's so beautiful. Um, so I bought it thinking like, if I'll either make it into a smaller skirt or I'll just use the fabric because there's so much fabric. But, and to be fair, I'll probably do that. So I'm gonna put this into a thrift flip pile. And maybe if you're lucky, I'll do a thrift flip thrift flip video so if you want to see a thrift flip flip fucking hell if you want to see a thrift flip video one day soon let me know this will feature next this skirt i need to get rid of i've kept on to it it's not for sentimental value to be, to be honest it's just because i love it so fucking much it, i have no sentimental reason i just love it but it's this skirt i got from it's i didn't get it from top shop it is from top shop but I got it from, you know that underground market, vintage market in Brick Lane? This is where I got this. Oh, it's just so nice. It's like Clueless, but Clueless takes 90s grunge, you know? Like I used to wear it with like band tees and I just thought I was the hottest toddy. But to be fair, it was like tiny. It was so short, so to be fair, I could probably wear it like, probably remake it a bit. Because there were different like, there's like buttons on it, so I probably could put a button somewhere else, but it's so short, there's just no hope. So anyway, I'm gonna put this on, vinted, buy it. Yeah, I'm so in love with it. Oh, just the colors, like, it gives me like Cher Horowitz, but like 90s London vibes. I'm so in love with it. I love you. This one is going on vinted, still got its tags on. If it's still got its tags on, get rid of it, ladies. This is from Bershka, size large. It's definitely inspired by House of CB one. And it's cute, but I haven't worn it yet, so. Right, so I think that actually, I think that summarizes things. I think that's the whole video. 
that's everything I'm getting rid of. There's quite a big pile there. If you are interested in any of the clothes, check out my vintage. I uh, will have them up by now, hopefully. And I'll link it all and everything, put images here, whatever. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. Subscribe if you would like to see more fashion content, kind of creative content, like arty kind of things. Like I've done in the past, like jewelry making, making things, I just love making things. So if you're inter interested in that kind of content, as well as chatty stuff, then please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, like, comment, and thanks for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.